since we're sort of talking about the story of Vienna anyway, mm -hmm. were you involved at all in, um, that got started in 1976, right? Were you involved in getting that going at all, or did Roger kind of no, pull you in after Roger that? Roger pulled me in after that. You know, I, I tried to think the other day, I'm going to go back through some of my papers and see what day I actually, I mean, what year I actually started in the mm -hmm. historic Vienna. See me, I was there many, many years. I, I used to uh, be a docent, of course, taking children through uh, from the schools, and and I think Mike does that now. That was always a lot of fun. Uh, I can remember some some crazy times we have though. Maud and I were we used to alternate. She'd take upstairs, and of course, Millie take upstairs and go through the, the you know the history of Vienna and, uh, and the pictures and and the furniture and so forth. And I'd take the downstairs and. I tried to build a story around uh, all the items, and I, I'd have the children gather around, and Maud would take, I mean, uh, whoever was the other, other person, would take it upstairs, and I would take this, and also the little caboose and the library, too. Mm -hmm. So what I'd do, I'd get the, the first group, and I'd go through in the store, and I'd say, okay, now, see this item? And one was the, the coffee maker, I said, does anybody know what this is? And people several find it guess at what it was. And the and the milkshake maker, the the one that makes the milkshakes and people think that stirred paint, you know, that I don't know whether it's still <laughs> down there. And uh, another thing that was really uh, uh, interesting was we had a this uh, thing uh, it's like a paper cutter and somebody donated to us and it was to cut tobacco with plugs. People used to chew tobacco and they cut these plugs. Well I'd always go through this and I'd say, now, does anybody know what this is? And everybody, even the teachers, they'd look around, what is that, you know, paper cutter, you know, and they cut cheese and stuff. I said, no, it's, it's something that's very nasty, nasty habit. People used to chew tobacco. And I said, and this is what it's used for. And we kept it packed because, buddy, cut your hand off this. Is it, I guess it's still there, isn't it, Mike? Yes, it is. Yeah, right. I thought from our tour, we showed it to the kids. Yeah. <laughs> we, we cut it out because of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. So, uh, anyway, and then I took the the children over to the little library. Well, those tours are really interesting. You have some uh, good questions that kids come up with. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, at one time we had the caboose on it, but it was just so much. By the time you finish, you'd have to rush through so much. You only had school buses. They'd have to had the fire is usually a day of a, a field day, and they were scheduled to go to. to uh, fire station or, or something. So you had to rush through it. I, I, we finally cut the caboose off. I don't know whether you have the caboose on the tours or not. It's no, just because no, no. you get the people in there. And I remember letting the kids go up and they would, they would there's a, uh, a ladder there and everybody wanted to climb up the top of the caboose and they're stepping on each other's hands going up down. Uh -huh. <laughs> I only did that a few times and I, we had to cut it out because of that. But uh, those, those are a good, good, a lot of fun taking those tours.